welcome to another episode here on a new life in France. We have a complete renovation project to show you today. Without further ado, come on in. Once we're inside this property and where we are situated as well is really interesting. We are situated right on the border of the North de Sèvres. The de Sèvres is a really popular area and particularly around this area that we're in today, it's very flattish, little bit of undulation farmland. It's very fertile land around here as so we make our way north to the Loire. What you also have here is you have a lovely temperate climate with the weather coming in off the Atlantic, but again, because it's fairly flat here, it's not actually influenced by any of the topography around here. So when you get the summers, they are lovely, and hence why the agriculture around here is so strong. It's a really popular area for touring as well. You're less than two hours to the beaches. You can go to Loire Valley, you can go up to Nantes, you can go starting to edge even further north. You can also then drop back down towards La Rochelle. So it's a very popular area to be looking at but this is a renovation property I'm not going to say you can move in because you can't really you can at a push there's electric there's water you could and people have but again this property has not been lived in now for a number of years and it is now for sale but it is going to be a complete renovation project so we're on the ground floor and there's lots of different facets to it sort of say what's here but you won't necessarily use it from that perspective so we've come off the hallway we've come into a sitting room with a little cubby hole just back there which is like a bit of an office really it's a door behind here which takes you into like a utility room you go through another door over there where there's actually another entrance door as well there's a, a toilet in there a bathroom in there there's lots you could do just in this area itself again at the end of the corridor you go outside little glimpse outside of what's out there but i will take you out there when we go and then we move into the kitchen area which i'll take you into now okay as we move into the kitchen area remember everything here is all about renovation so when we were looking in that sitting room area it's a big light sitting room it's huge and then it's got the different rooms coming off it so you can think about what you could do with that as well because there are so many potentials with this i think for the right person and the right family it could do multiple differences in this kitchen the kitchen is a big space it's light, it's airy, it's got windows to the front, windows to the back. You've got a very small window there just above the sink. Of course, you change that, take that out, put a bigger window in. They're talking to the agent as well, who actually lives in this lovely little village. The Marie here is super, so that's really helpful. Remember, you always got to keep the Marie on your side and the Marie will help you if you need to be doing alterations, you need planning permission, etc. So you really get them on your side. But again, in terms of that, you know, you can see a lot of potential to draw more light. This is facing onto the road, but it's a really quiet little village. So when you're in France saying you're facing onto a road, it's all very relative. But this is a big area in this kitchen. You would put a new kitchen in you just would but it's big it's light it's airy you then run off that back to the hallway but actually the magic continues as we go over my shoulder so we're going to take a step down and we're going to have a little look what's down there as well we've just stepped down now when you saw the outside shot you might have seen a couple of double doors which are just here two big glass doors this particular part of the house used to be like a cafe restaurant again many years ago and you can see with the double doors open here where it stretches in so we've got this area here doors coming in beautiful light coming in as well again you can see the old featured well, it's not even old it's just the cladding that's on the ceiling here then looking down we're looking down then to to the floor the parquet floor that's in here and then we go into this bigger room as well and on that bigger room there's a, there's a small room off it and there's some big windows now when i look at this area particularly in this bigger room the floor's gone okay i've had a walk across there you'll see from some of the shots walked across there for whatever reason stuff has been stored it's got damp and the floor has gone where I'm stood now is not too bad. It's pretty stable. It's the original parquet. It would be a shame for it to go, but you may well have to actually get rid of it. But when we come into there, definitely that's got to go. But what you have here, it's big, it's light, it's airy. It's another thing, what can you do with? This could become an amazing dining, sitting room area. Take these walls out there, not load bearing 
take them out, open this up off the kitchen. So you've got the kitchen, come down into a dining room, come into a lovely big sitting room. It's got that kind of potential. And then it gives you the other choice. What do you do as you come in off that hallway? What do you turn that into? So you've got lots of different choices with this. And when we go upstairs, it becomes even more fascinating what you could do. It is a complete renovation, but the potential here is huge. Remember when we look at this property, it's 99,000 euros. It's a bargain, but you're gonna to have to sink money into it. So it is a renovation project. Let's not get away from that. We come up the stairs, we come up onto the landing. If you're a regular viewer, I do a lot on the landing. When we come up from here, what we've actually got currently, bedroom behind me, big bedroom, nice, light, airy. Again, original fireplace that you can see there. I think if I took the boarding out, it'd be amazing to see what's behind there. Then just to the side of the camera here as we come to the top of the stairs, very common with a, pro a lot of properties we film. It's a smaller bedroom here, situated between two of the bigger bedrooms. Bathroom in here as well, bathroom and toilet. And then behind the camera, we go into the master bedroom that I would call it at the moment, but remember it's not that. Now this is where a little bit of imagination is needed because I'm going to take you through, but I want you to remember the landing area. So we've got the landing area as we currently come up the stairs, and then we've got the master bedroom as it is. So the master bedroom as it is, the big bed in there, again, it's light, it's airy, you've got the ensuite, you've got the big shower there. But I'm going to suggest a change in a minute. So let's go into that master bedroom bathroom. We're in the master bedroom bathroom, and I said remember the landing. Equally also, when I'm looking at this property, my wife and I have done a couple of renovations now. We've done our own house, which is still ongoing. It was a massive renovation. We looked up into the ceiling, you could see the sky. So we had a huge renovation project where we did. So we have an understanding of what renovations look like. We've also done a commercial renovation as well. When I'm looking here, I'm going, quite excited really because there's a door here I found this door as I came into to this this bathroom and I was like where does that go and I was hoping it would go where I thought it did and it's great behind here which I will take you in a moment but what you need to think about is to take advantage of what's behind me which I'll show you in a moment you'd have to reposition things so this bathroom and again the walls to the side easy to take that out actually you change the stairs as you come up onto the stairs, you'd slightly change the landing where the shower is behind the camera here. You'd actually put a corridor in. So you'd then come this way along a corridor. So for me, where this bathroom currently is, I'd split it in half so you've got a corridor. You then come into what still is that master bedroom, but it isn't, you change it into whatever you wanted. So when you start to look now at the positioning, when we go through this door, we've got something completely untouched and it's actually above what was the, the cafe restaurant area that I was showing you a few moments ago. Suddenly this house transforms from what you think is, that's a good project, good renovation project, to actually a great project. And I'm just looking out this window because I'm gonna take you outside in a minute as well. But follow me through to here. Let's show you a little bit more what can be done around this corner. Well, we've just stepped in through a couple of rooms. So we went through the smaller room that was just off that bathroom area. Again, what I love in that room and in this room, I love the floor. It's the original floorboards. And I know from my own experience, once you get hold of these floorboards, sand them down, plane them a little bit, you can bring them back to life and they just look so beautiful. So we've actually got a huge amount of potential in these two rooms now that to me it could be two rooms you can see actually we've got the, the beams here as well what's really nice here is the beams are above your head as you will have seen in other programs i do sometimes the beams are a little bit lower like at this height for somebody of my height so again with these you can easily flow between so you've got again potential to do something here so you could incorporate this in the whole part of the main house. So the whole of the upstairs all becomes one and you could turn these into things. What you could also do, you could also have stairs coming up from below up to probably the room just behind me, stairs coming up, potentially get a couple of rooms in here as well. So you could turn the downstairs into, I don't know, downstairs could be into a kitchen, sitting room, dining room, rooms above its own kind of gite area if you wanted. You could have separate access for a couple of rooms up here for say chambre d'hote. 
you've got lots of opportunities, but I do love this. Not a big fan of the ceiling, but you take that out. But the floor in here, the beams in here, you really could enhance that and do it. So when you're looking at a renovation project and you're looking at this is going to be costing 99,000 euros, I'm sure there's some play in that. You've always got to think about, well, how much more is it going to cost for me to do? When you look at what it's going to cost for you to do, that purely depends on how much you're going to do, how much you're going to bring people in, how much of that you can offset. There's lots of different things you really need to think about. So if you bought this, say 99,000, let's keep it simple. Are you going to spend double that? Probably. You could easily spend triple that. If you do the work yourself, then you might spend 100 and you might end up with something really good. The roof looks pretty good to me and pretty intact. And that's always one of the things to think about is the roof, the roof can and does cost a lot of money to put on and a lot of money to maintain. But I think when I'm up here and I get the feel of up here, it's just got that lovely feel. It's got that feel as a lovely family house. It's got that feel as a business opportunity that you could put in here as well. But you've got to put money in you've got to put some blood, sweat, and probably some tears. We're now coming outside here, and we've come out the back, we've come through sort of the, the back door, and what we find here is this big expanse. So within this, just over my shoulder here, we've got the big hangar, so the big open barn. We've also then got here smaller outbuildings, and again, a barn area that's there. So when I look at this area, and this, this hasn't been touched for a long time, we need to take that into account. It's a renovation project, and it's been abandoned, ready for you to buy. So when we look at this, you take everything out, you've got this barn here, you could rip it through. That has the potential to put actually some solid walls on the front or some cladding on the front, again, subject to the planning and the permissions. But could you put something in there? Absolutely, because behind the camera, little driveway coming in, it's gated, you come into this courtyard area. So again, it could have a private access coming in. So you could do something, one of those. You just turn them into workshops if you wanted as well. So it has that potential. Underneath the house is a big carve, so big basement area, you could do stuff with that as well. And then when we do look at the grange, so the, that big hangar, so to speak, when we look at that and we think what we could do with that, you could convert it, but also you could turn it and get it back into what it needs to be. So that could be garaging, could be a play area. And then we come round onto the garden. So I'm just going to take you round this corner. I can't get into everything. A lot has overgrown. There are, and you might see them in a minute, a couple of sheep knocking around. The sheep have purely just been put in just to help knock down some of the grass here as well and just eat some of that because somebody's got to maintain it. And this is just ready for you to come and buy. So behind me is more of the garden area and what we have got around me there's a lot of roses so this used to be a lovely rose garden this particular part you can see the roses in there then going further into the corner you've got lots of different fruit trees you've got nut trees as well there's some lovely plums i can see there as well so it's got the potential now if you came through you strimmed all of this through you gave it some tlc you'd soon be able to bring it back and just over my shoulder here, over some more roses, you see a big tall tree in the corner. That's the edge of the boundary of this lovely property. I can't quite get in there, but again, that's more area around there as well for you. So it's a big plot that you've actually got in terms of garden. It just needs to be hacked back and gone back into. So when we look at this outside area, it is lovely. There's a big concrete pad there as well. You could keep that if you wanted, you could take it up. Now, what I look at that concrete pad as well, based on the sunshine this time of day coming in, that would be great for an above ground pool as well. You're self-contained here. You're pretty much self-contained from three sides as you put it all together. You've got the lovely house, you've got the outbuildings, you've got the lovely gardens, you've got the facilities here to put a pool in above ground, I would say would be the best option. You can then look, you've got shade from the trees. It's got a lot going for it. And that's why as a renovation, I think it's great. I think it's great for where it's situated. I think it's great for what you get with it. Hard work, yes. Sinking money in, yes. But actually what you end up with in the end is something really nice. Really hope you've enjoyed looking around this. It is a renovation project, but it's got so much potential. I mean, what a big house that is. And the potential you can do with it is so vast. You can turn it into a chambre d'eau. You can have it as a 
Jeet if you want to turn parts of it in. You can turn some of the outbuilding stuff. You can have an amazing family home in a really, really lovely little village situated in a very popular area as well. I think it's got a lot going for it, particularly for 99,000 euros. And yes, you sink money on top. But recap when we look at it, you've got all that space downstairs to put in the configuration how you wish. The same upstairs, you can move some of the walls around, change things around, put bedrooms here, bedrooms there. You can do stuff outside, you can bring that garden back to life as well. I just think from a renovation project and where it is situated, there's so much you can do with this and actually there's so much value that you can add and then you've actually got your own stamp on your own beautiful home here in France. If you've enjoyed watching today, remember we are bringing you more and more programs every single week. We can bring you at least two properties a week. We now bring you a French lesson a week. We also bring you a story and we bring you some news. If you love what you see, please remember to subscribe. Also, you can go to our website a newlifeinfrance.com where you can find lots more information and do join our sister Facebook group Moving to France where you can join nearly 10,000 other members sharing experience, asking questions wherever you are in the world looking to move to France there's a source of information on there. Look forward to seeing you next time. 